We discussed the uh, important role that allogeneic stem cell transplantation has in improving outcomes for a proportion of older patients with acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, specifically, uh, the focus was on the recent demonstration that reduced intensity transplants do indeed improve overall survival, data from the uh, MRC group led by Nigel Russell. And uh, uh, we also talked about how important patient comorbidities are in deciding whether patients can tolerate an allograft. But it's clear that one can identify a substantial number of patients over the age of 60 who have a very high risk of relapse if treated with chemotherapy alone, easily in excess of 40 or 50 percent, where one would expect if you can deliver a transplant safely that there would be a survival benefit. Uh, and we also talked about the real importance of meticulous comorbidity scoring at diagnosis and when patients are in complete remission. And then the second half of the talk was really focusing on trying to improve outcomes after transplant, having firstly defined its important role and it should be considered in older patients who are fit. And uh, in, that, in that section of the talk, we talked first of all about how you might be able to increase the intensity of the conditioning regimen without increasing toxicity. And this is a study that again is being run through the uh, uh, NCRN uh, AML Working Party. Uh, it's a study called Figaro. It's one of the, the uh, only randomized trials of conditioning regimens in older patients with high-risk AML. Uh, and that's a study that is comparing the new German regimen Flamsabu with the standard UK approach of flubuated or flumel campath. And that's recruiting very nicely, actually, of the 170 required patients, 153 patients have been randomized. So we hope that that will be uh, uh, closing out recruitment fairly soon. It's possible if the statisticians advise that we may roll it out to the end of the year, so we increase the power. Uh, and then the other area was uh, something that we worked on very closely in Birmingham is administering drugs after an allogeneic transplant with the aim of either delaying disease relapse so that the uh, balance is tipped in favor of the graft versus leukemia effect so that it can develop in time out competing relapse. And also we talked about the potential of drugs such as azacitidine potentially to upregulate tumor antigens that have been epigenetically silenced, thereby augmenting a graft versus tumor effect. The general principle that applying some form of maintenance strategy after allogeneic transplant is an important way uh, of improving outcomes has come a long way in the last five years uh, and I think it's probably here to stay.